Hi everyone, JB here and welcome back to Persona 3 Portable. In the previous episode, we unlocked Orpheus and we got some new members for our party and today we are going to explore Tartarus. Now before we get going, I thought I'd go through the menu in a bit more. So skills is where you can see all the skills of your characters. Uh, items, you can see your items. Persona, you can see your own persona. Uh, equipment. Duh. Yukari, by the way, has a bow, and Junpei has a katana, and they all do different types of damage, but I'll get to that later. Status just gives you an update on how everyone's doing, and social links show you how your social links are doing, and system is system. You like, load your game and stuff like that. But without further ado, let's go into Tartarus. Are you ready? Yeah, ready. Good luck. I think I am going to voice act the, um... The non-voice acted ones, but I'm not going to do any voices. I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna speak normally for them. So, this is it, huh? I hope I don't get lost. Can you all hear me? Whoa, is that you, senpai? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Wait, you you mean you can see inside here? It's my persona's ability. I'd like to join you, but the structure of Tartarus changes from day to day. That's why outside support is imperative. Well, that makes me feel a whole lot better. Now, based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any minute. They shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. Practice makes perfect. Right. Got it. Why is she always like that? Let's begin. Keep in mind, these are real battles you'll be engaging in. Now, see if you can eliminate all the shadows wandering around on this floor. Indeed, you've got the minimap in the left-hand corner there. Uh, the various floors of Tartarus, I'll just explain now, are split into various parts. You have... You have Thebal, which is the first one, and then there's others later on, but we'll get to those. Uh, watch out, I detect a shadow in front of you. Indeed. Move in and hit it before it attacks you. Let's move in and hit it. So press the X button to use your weapon. If you can hit an enemy before it hits you, then you'll have the advantage at the start of the battle. Simple stuff. So like, uh, oh, not quite. Didn't quite get it. Takeba has informed me about your power, but nevertheless, you have minimal combat experience. Would you like me to explain the basics of battle? Uh, yeah, go on. The primary offensive options available to you in battle are attack and skill. Attack corresponds to the weapon you've equipped, while skill relates to your persona's abilities. Though skills consume either stamina or spiritual power, they tend to have a greater effect. Use whichever option best suits the situation. Keep attacking until you've defeated the enemy, but pay careful attention to your stamina. That's it for now. Did you get all that? We did indeed. I could explain it myself. Then I want you to defeat the enemy before you. Try using both the skill and attack options. But honestly, in Persona 3 Portable, they explain it very, very well. Uh, what I'm going to do is go to tactics, actually, and I don't want them to act freely. I want to give them direct command. You cannot do this in Persona 3 or Persona 3 FES, but you can in Portable. So let's take advantage of that. And then I just want to bash this to death. And then we've got Junpei, who can cleave. Nice. Who's the man? There are different types of uh, physical attacks, but we'll get to those as and when they become relevant. So we're going to carry on. Uh, those are the stairs. There should be a... Sorry, there should be a staircase nearby. Do you see it? A staircase is the only way to proceed to the next floor. I can't allow you to go any higher today, but please remember about it next time. Thank you very much, Mitsuru. We can also rotate the camera, as always, with the left and right shoulder buttons. There's another shadow ahead of you. You'll be at a disadvantage if the enemy gets the first hit in, so try to surprise your opponents and strike first. We tried to do that earlier, failed miserably. If you're able to strike the enemy before you are spotted, then you'll gain the initiative. On the other hand, if the enemy hits you first, the opposite will occur. And just like in Trails in the Sky, um... If you get the advantage, it's a huge benefit. But if you get a disadvantage, you may very well die. So you just want to be careful. Uh, come on. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Come on. Don't be like this. Turn around. There we go. Nice. 
Now's a good time for me to explain about attack properties, which are important to consider during battle. Do you want to know more? Yes, please. Nearly every type of attack is associated with a particular property. For example, swords can be used to do slash attacks, while bows are used to do pierce attacks. Skills, on the other hand, have different properties. Bufu, for instance, indicates an ice attack. Now, most enemies are vulnerable to certain types of attacks. In other words, they have weaknesses. A fire skill will deal greater damage to an enemy that's weak against fire. With my power, I can analyze an enemy to determine its weaknesses and strengths. That falls under tactics. Do you follow? Yeah. The enemies you're facing have a weakness that you can exploit. Why don't you give it a try? Don't mind if I do. So I explained tactics earlier. Uh, I want her to... I'll attempt to analyze the enemy. Analyze the Cowardly Maya, but I think I already know the weakness. Ta-da! So, when you exploit an enemy's weakness, you get one more attack. A wisely chosen attack. Here's a chance. Let's get him. And if you exploit every we enemy's weakness and you get the chance to do one more, but they've already all down, you get to do another attack. <laughs> oh, Junpei. And there we go. She explains all our attacks in a bit, so I'm going to let Mitsuru do that, since she's a lot better at explaining this stuff than I am. But there we've got a medicine. And we're going to keep going this way, and we're going to rotate the camera. There seems to be a shadow just around the corner. Approach carefully to avoid being spotted. The map will prove to be quite useful as you explore, so use it often. Indeed. The map never lies, by the way. There aren't... If there's a red dot there, there's an enemy there. Oh no! Oh, I completely missed. Oh no. Were you able to exploit the enemy's weakness in the last battle? If you didn't already notice, doing so will also grant you an additional attack. Would you like more details? Yes, please. I mean, I think I already explained it quite well, but just in case I missed anything. An enemy will lose its balance if you exploit its weakness or land a critical hit. This will give you the opportunity to perform an additional action. In other words, you'll get to do one more thing. You can keep attacking the same enemy, or if you prefer, attack a different target. And if you succeed in knocking another enemy off balance, then you can act yet again. Which means you can remain on the offensive for as long as you can keep this up. This strategy is essential to securing victory. However, remember this. An enemy that's already lost its balance cannot be knocked off balance again. You can't knock down someone who's lying on the ground, right? It's the same idea. Now, to knock an enemy off balance, you need to know its weaknesses. So don't hesitate to ask me for an analysis. I'll be sure to share the results with the others as well. Got it? Got it. Then proceed with the battle. Use what you've learned to quickly dispose of the enemy. Yeah, I still want uh, analysis of that. I'll attempt to analyze the enemy. But I might just kill them before it becomes relevant again. Attack again. Nice. Yeah, so here we're just chaining, chaining, chaining. You struck the enemy's weak point. The enemy's Here's a chance. Let's get and because we knocked everyone down, we're getting all that attack. Here, Introducing shuffle time. This randomly appears at the end of every bat of battles. Not every battle, but most battles. Mysterious cards have appeared in your mind. After battle, you will occasionally have the opportunity to select a card from the one shuffled before your eyes. If you pick a card with a persona on it, then you will receive that persona. There are unique. There are other cards, sorry, each of which have a unique effect or reward. Keep an eye on the card you want and try to pick it. So, press the X button in when your desired card is directly in front. Okay, so, there's the green leaf, the blue cup, and the persona. The green leaf will give you extra experience, the blue cup will give you extra, will heal your HP and uh, SP, and the picture card with the fairy on it, that is Persona. Uh, the Persona is Pixie by the way, and I w really want Pixie. Got it. 
You have welcomed Pixie into your heart. Brilliant. And you Kairos Persona level up. Fantastic. And so the jump ace. Jump ace is Hermes. By the way, even though you can change your own personas, uh, the other characters will only have two in the entire game. And you only get the second one if you max out their social links. But we'll get to that as time goes on. Anyway, let's keep going. I detect Shadow up ahead. How are you feeling? If you or another party member is in bad shape, then use healing items prior to engaging the enemy. If you don't have anything on hand, then ask Takaba to heal you. Press the triangle button to open the menu screen. From there, you can cover HP with skills and items. You can use your friend's skills from there as well, so feel free to do so while keeping an eye on their SP. Indeed. I can't... I don't really have a good eye. There he is. There is a better way to defeat all of your enemies in battle than to attack them individually. You can perform an all-out attack. Would you care to hear more about this? Uh, yeah, just in case there's anything I've missed. When enemies are thrown off balance, they become vulnerable. An all-out attack will allow your entire team to attack simultaneously. Your enemies will be unable to defend against it. It's a very reliable method of attack. Whether or not you want to perform an all-out attack is up to you. But remember, you cannot perform it when you're alone. So if you want to have it in your arsenal, make sure your team is comprised of at least two members. That's all you need to know about all-out attacks. Do you understand what I've just explained to you? Thank you very much, Mitsuru. That concludes the basics of battle. But there's one last thing I need to tell you. Shadows become stronger the further you advance. If you don't think you can win a battle, retreat at once. There may be times, however, when an escape will be impossible. This battle is one of those times. Good luck. Oh no. How else, however, will I fare against four Cowardly Myers? By the way, you can press the left bumper and X. Oh. You can. Yes. The enemy is vulnerable. Attack. Uh. Persona. You attacked the enemy's weak point. Yeah, just chain them. A wisely chosen attack. Awesome. Chain, chain, chain. I summon you. A wisely chosen attack. Here's a chance. Let's get him. Before I do an all last attack, I was just going to explain what I was going to say. If you press the left bumper and X on an enemy, you can see what um, weaknesses you've already exploited. That's really useful in case you haven't fully um, analysed it yet. Set the cards after they've been shuffled. This is the second instance of shuffle time and the second way they do it. Okay, so first time it was spinning round here, they're just going to shuffle them round. And I want Apsaurus, the one on the left. Thank you. You've welcomed Apsaurus into your heart. Eo is now level three. And magic is coming on really nicely. And Hermes is also gained level, and the strength is really good. Okay, you want to keep going. Nice and easy. That's odd. Usually there are more shadows on the prowl. Well, at least you gained some experience in battle. Let's go back. Let's go back to the dorm for today. There should be an access point somewhere on that floor. You can use it to return to the entrance. Since there aren't any enemies to worry about, why don't you split up and search individually? Just tell the other party members what you'd like them to do. But if they get too far away while you split up, you'll not be able to use skills or items on them, or use them in battle. Very important. Be careful of that. Plus, press the square button to issue orders to your allies. When your party members get too far away, their portrait at the bottom right of the screen will darken and skills and items cannot be used on them, and they won't be in your party if you get into a battle. Also, party members may encounter shadows while split up. While they are in battle, you will not be able to change their equipment. That's also important. So, press the square button, which order to give. Split up. Use this command to instruct your party members to spread out and look stairs, access points, and items. However, if they are not very strong, they can easily fall prey to the enemy. Be sure to keep an eye on their HP. Everyone, 
spread out and proceed individually. So I'm just gonna let them do their thing. Woot! Check out my uh, we're gonna stay here very. Okay, then I'll look around some more. Very briefly, I just wanna make sure that we do get everything. Again, the map doesn't lie to you. If there's a dead end, there's a dead end. If there's an item, it will tell you there's an item. There's no surprises with the map. Good, you found the access point. Please return to the entrance. Okay. Here you go. Yeah, and at the end, uh, whatever items they found whilst exploring on their own, they'll give to you afterwards. Welcome back. So, how was it? Yeah, it was fun. No problem. I see. Well, if you gained confidence, that's the best thing you could have achieved. Wow. I never knew I had that kind of power. But damn, I'm beat. <laughs> that's because you were bouncing around like a little kid. Yeah, you look pretty tired yourself, Yucatan. I'm still trying to catch my breath, actually. That's the effect of the dark hour. You'll become fatigued more easily. Don't worry, though. You'll adapt. But I'm surprised. You all did much better than I expected. At this rate, they'll catch up to you in no time, Akihiko. <laughs> we'll see about that. We weren't bad. We were not bad at all. Yeah, that's right. We're going to get a power up, level up with our social links. Now, Fool is one of the only social links in the game that just uh, progresses naturally throughout the story. Most others you have to do yourself, and I'll explain when the best time to do those is as we go along. And see, social link has reached level 2. Your power to create personas of the Fool Arcana has grown. Just like you, you carry and jump, you feel tired as well. You decided it would be best to return to your room and rest. Uh, sure thing. Nothing else to do in uh, Tartarus, so we'll call it a day. Dark hour will soon be over. It'll be the next day when you stop exploring and return to the dorm. Would you like to return to the dorm? I would like to return to the dorm, thank you. You decided to stop exploring and return to the dorm. Morning. I didn't know that we were on the same train. But man, things have been real crazy these past couple of days. Are you alright? You must be confused since you just transferred here too. Uh, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm alright. Wow, that's impressive. You're completely different from Junpei. On the other hand, I'm so bored that I feel like I'm gonna die. Okay, he go there with the uh, good old exaggeration. Because why not, buddy? Hey, is there any way I can sneak in on the fight? Maybe I could get past Mitsui if I wear Junpei's hat. No, never mind. The uh, consequences wouldn't be worth it. Yeah, don't mess with Mitsuru. That concludes the main portion of today's assembly. Next, we'll hear a word from the student council. Please welcome the new president, Mitsuru Kirijo, from Class 3D. Thank you. So, she did get elected. Well, I guess she is the most popular girl in school. You can say that again. There's like some kind of aura around her. Besides, the school's owned by the Kirijo group, right? As I begin my term as student council president, I'd like to share with you my vision for this coming year. It is my firm belief that each of us must accept the responsibility of bettering our school. However, change cannot occur without sustained effort and an unprecedented level of commitment. That is why we must restructure our daily lives to accommodate this lofty goal. I'd like each of you to dig deeply into your well of motivation and reevaluate your convictions. To imagine a bold new future without losing sight of the realities around you. That is the key. I'm certain that many of you have your own visions of the future. For us to reap the full benefits of our education, your participation, ideas, and enthusiasm are essential. Thank you. Dang, that was freaking amazing. Hey, did you understand what she was talking about? Yeah, because uh, I'm not a moron. Huh? Seriously? 
Man, you're smart. Sure didn't sound like something a high schooler would say. If it was anyone else, we'd be laughing our asses off. Alright, today we'll be going over Meiji era literature. Open your textbooks to page 12. You know what, I'm tired of these textbooks. I just went over this novel in the last class. I've got a great poem we can cover instead. Close your textbooks everybody and listen. Isolated cloud, suspended over the tall snowy mountain peak. You feel tired? Close your eyes for a few minutes? No, we really want to keep our academics high. We want to basically get our social skills up to the highest level as soon as possible. Alright Kenji, you better not be sleeping back there. You should be ashamed of yourself taking a nap while I pour my heart into reading this poem. For that, you get another essay along with your regular assignment tonight. I'll expect a slice of cake when you turn it in too. And don't cheap out with the store-bought stuff like last time. You stand up and listen to the lecture. And your academics have increased once again. Class is ended for today. As of today, you will be able to use your time after school as you wish. If you have established social links, you may wish to spend time with those individuals. Also, there are many places you can go in go to in the area to raise your charm, courage, and academics. Be sure to look around in town as well as in the school. Indeed. So, you can see how much gain you've got by looking there. You've got 1,880. But that's all for now. There's nothing we can really do. So what we're going to just do instead is go to the town map. You enter Junpei at the entrance and decide to go home with him. Huh? There's a commotion at the front gate. Swarming Akihiko Senpai like that. I know he's the captain of the boxing team, but I mean, come on. You don't even see girls flock like that on TV. I wonder where they're going. Hey, are you guys free this afternoon? Huh? Who? Us? I, I guess so. I want the two of you to meet me at Polonia Mall. You know where it is, right? I'll be at the police station. See you there. The the police station? Uh, are your friends gonna come along too? Who, these girls? I don't even know their names. They talk so much they give me a headache. Anyway, I'm gonna head out. Don't keep me waiting. Oh, why can't he be more friendly? <sighs> Man, how can he not know their names? I mean, seriously, just look at them. Well, guess we gotta go. Sheesh, talk about putting a damper on a guy's afternoon. The police station at the Polonia Mall. You decide to head there with Junpei. Yep, so once again we want to press square, we want to click the town map. And go to Polonia Mall, there's nothing to do really right now. Uh, and the police station is there where it says police. There you go. Remember, you can press the right uh, bumper at any time to bring up these symbols and press the right bumper again to let them go away. But yeah, this seems to be the police station. Enter. Thank you, sir. Oh, these are the guys I was talking about earlier. This is Officer Kurosawa. He helps keep our squad well equipped. And this is from Ikutsuki san. Oh, really? Sweet! You can't fight empty-handed, so find something you like. Officer Kurosawa has connections. But these things still cost money. Of course they do. Nothing in life is free. I realize that. Well, I'll see you later. Thanks again. I've been informed about you too. My job is to maintain peace in this city, regardless of the circumstances. I'm just an ordinary police officer. But it doesn't take a genius to know something strange is going on here. I'm only doing what I think is right. I don't have that much, but you should be able to find what you need. Indeed. So you now have 6,880 yen, but we're not actually going to buy anything. We might sell a few things, but we don't really have anything to sell. Don't really want to sell the stuff stalls, so we're going to head out. Psh, only 5,000 yen. I'm going to take off since I'm in a bad mood now. Later. Jesus, Junpei has left. 
Never mind. And the reason why we're not going to buy anything is because we need the yen, really, to uh, do things that we want to do. So we want to go back to the town map. And we want to go to Port Island Station. And we'd like to go to the movie theatre. Screenshot. Screenshot movie theatre. You can pass time in various places around town. Many shops will raise your charm, courage, or academics. If they are high enough, you may meet new people. Indeed, Screenshot Movie Theatre presents an original program. High school student, 1500 yen. You'll be able to raise your academics, charm, and courage stats here by watching movies. The movies shown will change every day. You can also work here during the day or on your days off from school. What do you want to do today? I want to check what's showing. A movie marathon is playing. Pump your brain with foreign movies without subtitles. Tickets cost 1500 yen for high school students. Watch movie. You immerse yourself in foreign languages and find yourself unsure if you understood them or not. But never mind, the academics have greatly increased. It's getting late. You decide to go back to the dorm. Welcome back. Perfect timing. I'd like to speak to you for a moment. Regarding our exploration of Tartarus, Akihiko is still on the men, so for now, I'd like you to leave the team. You never know when a powerful enemy might appear, like the one you faced the other day. It's best to be prepared, or else you may find yourself in a difficult situation. So, whenever you'd like to explore Tartarus, just let me know and I'll gather everyone there. Also, since I'm sure there are other things you will need to take care of, you may go out at night if you need to. Well, that's it. Keep up the good work. You are now, now able to go out at night. Fantastic. And we will go out at night in the next episode. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more. I'm JB. This has been Persona 3 Portable. And I'll see you in the next one.